Hello AI champions, today we are checking out Browser Act, an AI powered browser automation tool that lets you scrape automated websites using AI agents. No fiddling around, no coding, it just works. In this video, I'll quickly show you the Browser Act interface, the templates, the AI agent, how to run them, and also copy the scrapers for yourself. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing you'll need is go to browserag.com, use any browser, start your free trial, you'll get this login screen, continue with Google, log in, and it's as simple as that. Once you log in, you will see this interface. But before we go there, I want to show you something else. Browser Act is an AI web scraping and automation tool. It works with any website, no code, zero limits. There is also a LTD going on AppSumo. You can definitely get it from there. What it does is it gives you a bunch of free credits. If you go to the pricing, you'll see free trial. That's what we are running right now. You get 500 everyday credits. So technically you can run this website for free all the time. And even if you go with pay as you go plan, that's 50% off going on right now. $1 is going to 1000 credits. Pretty simple. It has amazing reviews, but before I harp on too much, let's get into the demo. Once you log in, hit launch. Once you log in, you'll see this screen on the left that is a nav bar on the right. It's the web page, AI yeah, workflow builder integrations. If you go to the integrations, you'll see there is make NNN. Here we are looking at featured templates. These are the templates that people have been using a lot. You'll see some of Make, some TikTok, some web scrapers. We are going to go from the most or the easiest way how to use Browser Act. Then we'll go to a little harder, which is agents, and then the hardest, which is the AI workflow. But that is also very, very easy. And I'll show you that. The first place that you want to go is Template Marketplace. This is the place you can search all the websites, uh, the scrapers that you want, the tags. Let's take a look. We have LinkedIn, YouTube, comments, uh, new scraper. Let's start with the new scraper. Once you open it, you'll see the name of the scraper, the person who created it, the date it was published, and the tags related to it. The left side is the workflow. This is the agent workflow which somebody has built and we're using it. That's why I said this is the easiest way. Just take the template somebody has built and start using it. What does this template do? It's in the description. It technically takes the first 10 or the top 10 news from Google uh, news website and lists this over here. Also, it will extract it into a CSV. In order to run it is as simple as just run. You can set it to 100 so it will give 100 news. Right now, we don't need a lot. We're just testing it out. So let's say five. I'm going to start it out and let it run. If you see, it's initializing the task. As soon as we start initializing the task, a live browser comes up. Description is where we work. Live browser is where it is going to open up a web browser and start doing the steps that it has been listed in the workflow. Output is a section where we're going to see the output once it completes. And at the current the entire workflow, we are at 0%. If you see, this is the workflow. You can zoom in. Now let's go through it. Starting, we're given it five. This is what we said. Next is visit this page. This is the second node where we say visit. I'm going to increase the size. I think it's visible now. Go to news.google.com. Click the element which is top stories. Scroll the page, scroll to the bottom. After that, extract data. We have told it to extract the full page data and then extract it into a CSV or output at, as a CSV. We go to the live browser. The first step is running. It has navigated to news.google.com and it is doing what it is supposed to do as specified in the workflow steps. Boy, and just like that, our run is complete. It took one minute, 38 seconds, pretty quick. But let's see what it did. Navigate to news.google, that is the website. You can see the screenshots over here. Next step was click on the top stories. So it clicked on the top stories. You can see the navigation bar here as well. Third was scroll to the bottom. It scrolled to the bottom. Then it listed the top five news, combined all the data, and it extracted this as a CSV, which is this. Let's click it. You can also visualize it over here. This, these are the five top news that are going on right now. If you want to download it, download it. You can see it once it's downloaded. 
you'll see the data similar to what we are seeing over here and you can also see the same output in the output window so if you create more CSVs if you extract more CSV they will all be available for download over here uh, in the later stages all right so with that said this is the simplest way you can get started with the browser app with workflows or templates that are already created by other creators wasn't that cool now let's graduate let's go to the next level we are going to take a look at the agents click on the left side create our agent i'm going to increase the size we're going to name it let's assume that this is the holiday season you want to find some games for a for a kid for a relative so let's say ps5 games scraper oh, by the way agents are good for only basic scraping uh no thorough scraping no deep scraping uh it's only good for light tasks so let's see how to do it you can name it and you can give the description if you want let's give the instructions on the right hand side there are the tools that you can use in order to use the tool just say slash and it will list all the tools that you want so we're going to say use slash browser control open www.amazon.com and after that look for so i have a command cool use search and rule find top games as a gift for ps5 gamers rank them uh, as per the user reviews sort them a latest first export them as csv all right let's save this we are going to save publish a new version it's published similar to the templates we have the build section where we are right now second is the run section here we are going to run it and all the logs will be in the log section so let's run it we are going to say top games ps5 games all right let's run it let's see what happens and our run is complete if we see the data we see astrobot one of the best games player obscure so game of the year 2024 game of the year 2025 it works absolutely fantastic i am so thrilled look at split fiction monster under wilds these are the best games that i play on a daily basis so amazing job well, let's quickly check the steps it did well, let's go to the steps screenshot the first step second step uh, I don't see the steps over here now it started seeing the steps if you see this usually you see all these numbers and these boxes when there is a machine learning model doing all of this step so I'm pretty confident this is machine learning taking care or taking control of your browser and doing all the steps which is so cool 150 credits were taken again within the daily limits we didn't even use 500 credits and here are the top PS5 ranked games which is not only giving you the results but actually going to the browser controlling it with one simple command it is super powerful if you go to the logs you will see the id of the run whether it was successful or failed you can read on again uh the task that was given to it five steps created runtime you can view the details which will go back to the run and you can download the results file as a csv and we downloaded this file was successfully downloaded this is the results of the game next let's graduate to the next level we are going to take a look at let's build your own ai workflow over here let's create we're going to name it test test workflow just testing all right create it. it's a pretty similar process once you open it you'll see this canvas here you can start adding parameters parameters for example if you want only 10 results so you know uh, let's say a limit is default value is 10 so it will only limit to 10 if I want to add another parameter is like uh, URL you know the default URL is supposed to www.amazon.com all right perfect the next step you can keep adding as many parameters as you want uh, you can also add credentials so for example if you want to have Amazon credentials over here you can name them Amazon you can give the rules we are not doing that over here because we just want to go to the website second thing which we are going to do is we're going to add a node once you click on this add a node button you will see a bunch of operation was it a page you can also do that okay was it what page do you want to visit we have already given the url so you can just say url all right boy url is here slash url all right what do you want to do i want to search or i want to input a text or i want to click an element like you know click something input something scroll the page 
all right input text input something what we want to input we want to input the limit this is how you can build your workflow in order to save time we are not going to build this workflow to the end what we are going to do we are going to use an existing template go back well, let's go to the template marketplace if you want to see google news scraper we did once uh, let's find amazon right amazon best sellers over here what you can do is like create from this template if you hit create from this template boy you got the entire template over here so same thing the departments okay visit the page visit the page to amazon best sellers click the element click this and this is exactly what you can do loop is required if you want to do it again and again to scrape the entire website how many durations and once you have your workflow built the way you want it all you can do is publish it and run it so let's do that we're going to publish this publish as a new version run now is going to do the, do the same steps we are in the run you are looking for department jewelry or whatever right now we want to look at games department all right we don't want to give any credentials and you can run it it's as simple as that you can build your own workflows it will start running and the same thing live browser output workflow it is similar to the prepaid templates but here you got the chance to modify the template the way you want we are not going to wait until running the whole thing last thing which i want to show you is integrations and api and this is where browser act becomes super powerful because now not only you can run or control your uh browser using browser act you can scrape the data which is almost free because of the credits if you uh connect your discord channel you'll get 2000 credits free on top of that it has apis and apis make it super powerful because you can connect to make and n8n so there is integration for make we'll go back there's integration for n8n it's telling you exactly what needs to be done but i'll show you an example how it needs to be done so let's go back to the templates in the templates marketplace you'll see all the templates make n8n i'm going to click on n8n for example if i want to use this linkedin job scraper i can click on it you will get an option to download the json all right if i click download the json download it if i go to my n8n right now let's open my n8n let's create a new workflow and simply import from a file the file was that was downloaded let's go to our downloads source workflow json and there you go you have your entire workflow all you need to do is connect your credentials and all these things it will go away there are instructions on how to use this running the workflow all you have to do is install a community node i understand the risks install it once you install it the node it's a community node there is no native node you will see browser act notes run it see it how it looks and boy not only you have complete complete control over your browser now you have automation and that makes it super super powerful if you do any kind of web automation or data extraction browser act is a solid tool especially if you're tired of broken scrapers check out the link in the description to try it out as always if you want more real world ai tools and automation builds subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you